So I'm running Windows 8. I've been running Windows 8 for a while already, and I really like the operating system. Although, there's some problems that I'm having with my audio, non-DAW related. For example, if I'm watching YouTube, Netflix, or listening to some audio on iTunes, computers start stuttering, some weird random pops and clicks, a lot of artifacts. And it's driving me insane. So I went on the internet and I found a lot of things that really didn't help. Somebody suggested go tweak your bios. Look at the settings in your bios. That might help. You guys should know how to access your bios. If you don't, just check the manual. Some computers, when you're booting it, you have to hold the delete key. Some of them escape, F1, F2. You have to find the right uh, key to press while you're booting your computer. So once you're there, you have to... Uh, Optimize your BIOS. Now remember, the BIOS are very important. Don't go messing around with something you don't know. You can actually stop your computer from booting into Windows. And if that's the case, I don't know if you guys can see, but you have a factory uh, reset here. Load a uh, fail safe default. So you can always go there. I avoid doing that. Or you could go here to the optimize default. So let me show you what I disabled. But before I do that, look, there's a lot of things here. I really can't go through everything. I'm going to show you the crucial things that helped me and I'm pretty sure it'll help you but there might be some of you guys out there that'll try all of this and it might make your system worse so you gotta find what works for you so let me show you what I did first thing I'm gonna show you is my CPU settings I don't overclock the next thing I'm gonna show you is the CMOS uh, features and as you can see I don't have any IDE drives on my computer I don't have any floppy drives everything's disabled that's very important. If you have something that you're not using, disable it. For example, if you're using an Mbox and you have onboard sound, just disable it. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now let's go to the advanced BIOS features. There's a lot of things that are disabled by factory, but I want to show you what I did. So let's uh, go down to here. CPU Enhanced Halt C1E. It's disabled. If you want to know what that is, check the description. I'll have all of that there. Uh, C2... C2E uh, state support disabled and I believe yes right here you see this right here CPU EIST function if I enable this all my pops click stutters come back with Windows 8 I disable this is all gone no problems it actually made my system better you could disable this on your system and your system might not work very good you might notice some pops and clicks just by disabling this uh, option here so the rest of the stuff not really important those are all uh factory settings now it's another important option here this is the integrated peripherals and i'm sorry about the camera shaking don't know where my tripod's at kind of doing renovations over at the place so a lot of things are in boxes so again apologize for that now this is pretty important here the sata ahci mode make sure it's set to ahci normally it'll be here in ide but you want to set it there but here's the thing, if you installed Windows with this being on IDE and then you switch it over, it might not work. I could be wrong, but I think I tried it once and Windows didn't boot. So you might want to image your drive before you do any of these options here. But you could try it, and if it doesn't work, just come back to the BIOS and set it back to IDE. So let's get out of there and set up port 03 native mode. That's all factory setting, and that's disabled. Now check it out. This is my onboard uh, interface. As you can see, it's disabled. I don't use my onboard audio interface or onboard sound, let's call it. Uh, this is enabled. Uh, green land, this is disabled by factory. This actually was disabled by factory. I used this option, LAN boot ROM, or ID controller disabled, onboard serial port, parallel port disabled, and the rest all enabled. Like I said, to me, this is the main important part and disabling the audio. Those are the two main options there that you really want to worry about. Uh, power management setup. Let's go here and let's see what we have here. Over here, you want to make sure it's S3, STR. And we're looking at the ACPI support type. Now, I want you to check this out. Over here, HPET support. A lot of people told me to disable this. I had to stop all your pops and clicks. I actually did, and it made my system a lot worse. But a lot of other people, it actually helped them. So I keep that enabled and also make sure it's 64-bit mode. So by default, it was on 32-bit, but I kept it at 64-bit mode. And the rest of the options, as you can see, disabled. Those are all factory settings. 
and basically that's it so those are the, the options that are really important then after you do that you want to go to save enter press the y key on your keyboard you see look let me do it and it's going to ask me save to cmos you press uh yes and continue to boot into uh windows and everything should work fine now i'm going to make a another video that's going to be a continuation to this video and i'm going to show you some things that you could do Yes, I know I made some optimization videos for Windows already, but there's some new things I've learned that will help with uh, some of the modifications here. And again, there's so much more you could do in the BIOS, but every system's different. Some of these options might not exist in your BIOS, so you have to read and find out about your computer and your motherboard. And hopefully you solved all these pops and clicks. So let me know what you guys think. Post in the bottom, give me a thumbs up, and... Somewhere on the screen is going to be a subscribe button. Just click that. Subscribe to the channel. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.